Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here with my good friend, Mr. Scott. And today we are at Brogan's Diner in Langley, British Columbia to do their big Mafia Mike's Burger Challenge. So Scott actually is the only one to complete this burger challenge. Um, when he did it before, he actually weighed it on a scale. We'll do again the same thing today. He, it was about what, 6.7 pounds, 6.5 pounds? 6.7 for the burger and 1.4 for the milkshake. Okay, so it was about eight pounds yeah. last time. Uh, I mean, I assume it's gonna be about the same, but I guess we'll go ahead and find out. The location is so, so, so cool. It's like a 50s style diner. They have like Elvis things everywhere. So yeah, super excited. Let's go in and see what it's all about. And let's eat some food. Oh wait, what are we gonna have? 57 minutes, I think? 57, 57 minutes, yep. 57 minutes, free meal, and I think a t-shirt if you win. So let's go. All right, everybody, so here are these burgers. And so we actually just weighed them. So again, we were expecting about a 6.5, 6.7 pound challenge. These things are weighing in at nine pounds. Like we literally just put them on a scale. So this is no shortage of burger. This is in fact the biggest burger challenge that I have ever completed. Like the burger, a nine pound burger. Same for Scott. This is yeah. the biggest burger challenge we've ever attempted in a restaurant. These things are huge. So what we have on here is not only the massive buns, which apparently were made today, so that's super cool, but we have uh, lettuce, tomato, whack of pickles. We have a whole bunch of the burger sauce, which is like mayonnaise, relish, ketchup. We have not only a over three pound patty of beef, there's a whack of cheese, there's ham, there is bacon, there is over a pound and a half of french fries on this, there's four eggs, then the onion rings on top, and then there's like six hot dogs in each one, and then we have these delicious looking milkshakes, I went with a birthday cake, they look super fancy, and then Scott went with a raspberry cheesecake. Um, so again, looks great, we're gonna work for this one today, I'll tell you that much. But uh, yeah, so we'll get started just momentarily, and YOLO. So Scott, you all ready to start there? I'm ready as I'll ever be, so. Just to get started, I'm gonna say what, count five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Cheers, 57 minutes, y'all. Huge shout out to the staff, like you said, really cool. Apparently all these ingredients are local as well, so I have no complaints about that. That is a big bun. Mm -hmm. It's hot, it's something steaming still. Alrighty, let's see, where do I go with this? Actually, could I get a fork and a knife and fall? Yeah. Okay. So some eggs, we got some hot dogs. Bacon. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video and welcome to what is undoubtedly the biggest burger I've ever attempted. That is right, the biggest solo burger I've ever tried to eat. These burgers weighed in at just under nine pounds, plus the whopping one and a half pound milkshake. So we have just over 10 pounds of massive challenge items here. As I said, 57 minutes, get it for free and a t-shirt if you can complete it. The only one to complete it previously is my friend Scott. However, his total challenge weight before was just under eight pounds or about eight pounds. So here we have this challenge coming out at two pounds bigger. Not really sure why it came out two pounds bigger, but it was two pounds bigger and they made it extra plump. My favorite pickles. Scott loves pickles. That's, that should be it. That should be, that should be your slogan. <laughs> you do. Scott loves pickles. <laughs> I believe I heard one of the staff members mention that maybe it was supposed to be nine pounds or close to that, and last time it was just small. Yeah, it's still nice and hot, which is going to be good because this mm -hmm. might take a while. Mm -hmm. Whole tomato on this, at least a whole tomato. Mm -hmm. Fried onions and mushrooms. After our 32 pizzas of bacon yesterday, it's nice to go down to only about eight, <laughs> nine, ten, somewhere in there. Maybe a dozen. Let's just say we've had a lot of bacon. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, massive burger challenges with all local ingredients, which is really cool, in such a unique style of diner, like a 50s diner. So I really, really enjoyed that. It was a really cool experience. I don't think you guys can understand how big these buns are though. This bun is huge. <laughs> I mean, I like big buns, and I can't lie, but... <laughs> I'm not going to dance for you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> I 
see that burger sauce is tasty. So besides these burgers coming out two pounds bigger than we expected, I'll let you get the rest of the video. There's a lot of commentary in it, so I hope you enjoy. Last time we were cheering. There was two people all around our music phone. Now it's just like cameras in silence. You guys can cheer this time. <laughs> You can talk and everything. Like, well, there'll be music over most of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, there you go. But um, yeah, it's like it's actually good. Like when there's copyrighted music on, you can't have that in the video. So in, in a place like this, like normally we try to get the place to actually turn off the music because unfortunately, like I said, you just can't have it in the video. They'll, they'll take it down and try to sue you. You can have like a very short little bit, like under ten seconds. Yeah. But the logistics that you, you know, normally... It's just best ride to watch, too, eh? Hey? <laughs> oh, it's okay. It is. Yeah, I wish I could eat like that. I'm not <laughs> but there's no way I could ever eat like that. We're about six minutes in. I mean, it, it is, we're moving through it. This is big. It's a lot of food. Ten pounds with the shake. So, like Joel was saying, this is the biggest challenge that uh, restaurant challenge that we both have. Uh, uh, biggest, burger, biggest burger, 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 I'd say that we've done. So. Oh, I will say, it's great to have Scott right by my side. He's a gentleman which helped uh, take down that 25-pound burger we did. And with Scott, I would do it again. Probably where the extra two pounds came in, right? <laughs> and my buns are gonna be a lot bigger after this thing too. <laughs> Alright everybody, about 10 minutes in. You know, I'm using that power of the ketchup to do is always ketchup time in my opinion. With that being said, um, we are both doing really, really well. Like, but you can't, like, I'm not underestimating the size of these buns. <laughs> can't underestimate the size of these buns. They're absolutely massive. Um, yeah, but we're doing pretty well. 47 minutes left. Excuse me. That needed to come out. <laughs> need to make a little shit. Yeah, need, need to make space, right? Yeah. <laughs> Joel's milkshakes bring the girls to the yard. <laughs> and they're like, gosh dang, your mustache is better than <laughs> yours. <laughs> and a bun and bacon. Wow. It's not even a bun, it's like a loaf of bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We 
we're gonna uh, we're gonna do it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. makes the faces all so much better. <laughs> <laughs> if it's good enough for Joel, it's good enough for me, so. Purple drink. In the words of High School Musical, <laughs> <laughs> we're all in this together. <laughs> That's all I know. I'm going to clean up this shrap melody stock shop. And then I have a milkshake. Mmm. Ugh. Stock shop's down to his bun. Excuse me, we're absolutely killing it. Nine pounds. And I heard if we beat this, we get, we get free pot. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> Cheesecake. Everything oh. here is lovely made, so. Frozen yogurt banana splits. Oh, they're amazing. Yeah. I mean, they're offering. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's put this in there. Oh my gosh, you can do it. I just inhaled that. <laughs> it's in my nostrils. <laughs> so, like 23 minutes, seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds. You were so that was really good, actually. Um, like the quality of the food was very apparent. What really, was really cool again, I think I mentioned this earlier, but everything's like coming from local. They go to tell you every, everywhere it comes from. The beef came from a fresh butcher today. It's not like frozen. You can taste the difference. The bun just literally was made this morning. The bun, the loaf. <laughs> it was great. Milkshake was good. Love the decorative ability of it. The burger actually looked fantastic as well. Scott's just finishing up. He's like literally basically right on par with his old time and each of these challenges are two pounds bigger. So seriously, Scott, Keep up, you're doing great. Huge thanks to staff here. Let's watch Scott demolish this Mafia Mike's challenge. Woo! <laughs> and apparently we get dessert, so you know. Always fun to have dessert, right? <laughs> there is a reason why Scott's the only one who beat this thing. It's a beast. Yeah. And he's a beast. Scott eats. Yeah. <laughs> 
You know it's real when your shirt says so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it says YouTube on it. That's right, that's right. <clears throat> If you're not familiar with Scott, Scott recently just got a YouTube channel, definitely check it out. The guy is a beast, great videos as well. He's a great editor. <laughs> <laughs> it's his wife. <laughs> you guys want to, everybody says, where does it go? It's right here, homebrew, look at that thing. <laughs> like I said, extra diligent to clean that mustache now. It's, a, it's, a, it's quite a piece of work. I grew up, over the quarantine, I grew a big beard. And then I shaved it off, and I was like, I'm gonna try a mustache for a little bit. Most people don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it. I think it suits me. It does suit you. It does suit you. And it suits my, my ridiculous face. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot less dramatic without the mustache. Yeah, he's waiting for dessert. He's still he's still dessert. dessert. <laughs> I mean, define hunger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the easy answer is like, I'm not hungry. But I mean, if you're talking like homemade pot, like come on. He's got his mouthful, that delicious looking shake left. Mm -mm -mm. He's on his way. Oh. I'll stop you. I'll be, I'll be the official type though. Oh, you're gonna savor this one? You're gonna savor it? <laughs> I mean, you could. I wouldn't blame you. Mm. Fresh blueberry. <laughs> no strawberry. No raspberry. Fresh berry. Fresh berry. Yeah, they're they're <laughs> delicious flavors mixing together. So I say it's birthday cake. So 29 minutes, 12 <laughs> seconds for Mr. Scott. Huge thanks for here at Brogan's. Definitely do not underestimate that challenge. That was a big one, pretty intense, but everything was delicious. The staff were excellent. Apparently we get to try some homemade dessert now. So we'll share that with you as well. But seriously, Scott, killed it, dude. Thank you, appreciate that. The man eats, the man is a beast. So uh, look forward to some more eating, but I'm hella done for today. We got a long drive ahead of us. That's right. So, well, after dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, don't do what we do, and of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry, and happy. And of course, here we have dessert. So we decided to go the healthy option, save some calories. Uh, so we got a lovely, lovely, lovely looking frozen yogurt, banana split with berries and granola. Because you know, we're gonna try to be healthy after eating nine pounds of burgers. So, you know, but <laughs> and a pound and a half of milkshake. milkshake. Yeah, we won't mention that. Yeah. So no, it was good. So yeah, I look forward to kind of digging in here. Just the ice cream as well coming from a local dairy farm. In Abbotsford. In Abbotsford. Abbotsford they make those order, which is pretty cool as well. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, it's frozen yogurt, but I can go another. So the frozen yogurt has a very, how do I put this? It's really unique. It goes really well with the flavor of the banana. And it's very creamy. Like it's a very creamy frozen yogurt. I would say, I'm trying to think of a word. I can't describe it, but this together, this combo right here. It's delicious. Banana, mm -hmm. creamy, frozen yogurt -y. That's what it is. Right. <laughs> okay, I got the word. That's, the, that's it. So you know like yogurt, if you have like a Greek yogurt or a plain kind of natural yogurt, it has this little bit of kind of tartness, a little bit of like, a, almost like a sourness in a way, and not like in a bad way. It just kind of has that like, kind of tarty flavor. That's exactly what the yogurt, the frozen yogurt tastes like. So it tastes like a legit yogurt. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Mm. I haven't had fresh raspberries in a long, long time. Mm. At least we're getting fruit in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or healthy fruits. 
That's right. right. We're trying. We had a veggies earlier, now we got our fruits. Yeah. We got... There's actually a lot of veggies on that burger. There was, yeah. We had some potatoes. Right. We're getting some fiber in. Some carrots later? Are you going to have carrots? I'm going to definitely have some carrots <laughs> later. I got a bad carrots in the car. Mm -hmm. Battery's almost dying here, so you can see we're just about done there. So thanks for joining us. Uh, like I say, if you're ever in the Langley, BC area, come out to Brogan's Diner. Definitely. And try out any of their food, burgers, you name it. Really good uh, buffet breakfast here. Um, and apparently now desserts, you know? And karaoke. And karaoke. Come by yeah. and tell them some crazy guys that ate a big burger shop and set you, because the people here are great. Oh. They're really great people. Yeah. Would recommend 10 out of 10. I think this is a moment where it's okay to lick the bowl. Lick the bowl. Okay. It's always suitable sometimes. <laughs> I do have to be more careful though. <laughs> Take this mustache. Mm. Alright. Loved it. Everybody broke and done. Langley, BC. You know where to go. So when you're flying into BC, you fly over, you know, from like, you know, the east, you see Alberta, which is just a flat piece of land with farms. You drive into BC, or fly into BC, and you see these great big monstrous hilly green mountain thingy things. This is what BC looks like. It's just this big green tropical mountain thing. Look, there's a mountain with peaks way over there. That's pretty cool. And then the big green mountain hilly thing things. Yeah, so that's what BC looks like. Yeah. And fucking look at him. There you go. Just look at that mountain. That is what you call a freaking mountain out here in British Columbia. It's pretty cool. It's up in the clouds, y'all. Look at that white peak mountain stuff. Oh, look, there's people taking photos on the side of the road. I don't blame them. Holy shit, here's another one. Just look at it. Up in the clouds, all them freaking crazy roads and mountains and snow up here, up in this beautiful place of natural beauty. I wonder how long it take me to climb that dang thing. And that is Rattlesnake Island. It looks very nice. Oh, Rattlesnake <laughs> Island's down there, and this is a big old mountain range which is very beautiful and this is the Okanagan River. Lake Okanagan. Lake Okanagan, that thing. As you can see, I'm an experienced tour guide. <laughs> and the best thing about all this stuff is, well, that's a rock right there, but you see the way the sun hits the rock, it makes it light up and it looks really red. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like a, it's like it was meant to be. And look at that water. That water looks awfully blue down there in Lake Okanagan. It's pretty cool. 